as I take every week. And in this video, we're talking about the jailbreak progress uh, for iOS 6.0 and 6.0.1 for uh, all of the iDevices, including the newer devices such as the iPad Mini and the iPad 4 and the iPhone 5, and most likely for the iPod Touch 5th generation as well. But basically, in this first post here on Redmond Pi, they talk about the iPad Mini being jailbroken already. Um, and they say sort of, uh, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but Musclender posted on Twitter a photo of the iPad Mini uh, running on iOS 6, uh, and he called the jailbreak a fail break uh, due to the fact that it requires an Apple uh, developer account for it to work. So you can't uh, use the jailbreak unless you have an Apple developer account, and they're not going to release that jailbreak to the public uh, due to that fact. And that photo was posted shortly after the iPad Mini's release, uh, and the iPhone 5 was also uh, jailbroken the day of its release. So, so right when the iPhone 5 was released, they had a jailbreak for that. And right when they had the iPad Mini released, they had a jailbreak for that soon after it was released as well. Um, but it's still not a fully functioning jailbreak because of the Apple developer account and for other reasons, uh, uh, such as them needing uh, another exploit for it to work. Uh, but Planet Bean then upgraded the jailbreak with another exploit, uh, allowing existing tweaks to be, uh, to be installed uh, to that device. It's jailbroken, but it still requires a developer account. Uh, to use the jailbreak, so therefore they uh, are not going to release it to the public. Uh, so if we scroll down here, you'll see that photo uh, right here, and basically everything I just talked about is summed up in this article. Uh, so if you guys want to check out the article, I'll put the link in the description so you can read through it all. But here's the photo showing the uh, the jailbreak here. Um, and there's more info in here. It gets more in-depth. You want to read it all. Uh, but that's that pretty much sums up that post there. Uh, now onto the iPad 4, uh, it's also been jailbroken. Um, like they said, there's a catch again because of the developer account being needed. Um, but it has been jailbroken the exact same, with the exact same exploits in the same way as the iPad mini uh, and the iPhone 5. Uh, so everything I just said previously about the iPad mini, uh, that goes for the iPad 4 as well. Um, so it sounds like once they can figure out the whole Apple developer account being needed and they add all their finishing touches and stability and everything, uh, they'll be ready to release it to the public. Um, but I think they need another exploit uh, to fix the developer account problem. Uh, so they're working on that. Uh, but they still have uh, no ETA as to when it's going to be released. Uh, but we can definitely see some progress getting done here. One thing that I found interesting, uh, if you guys haven't known this yet, uh, they made it illegal to jailbreak an iPad. Uh, I made a video on that, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll put an annotation or put a link in the description or something. Um, so you can check that out. You can check that video out and get all the information about that. Uh, but basically, they made iPads illegal to jailbreak now. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised that the developers of the jailbreak are still working uh, towards jailbreaking the iPads um, because I would assume. Uh, if they get caught uh, for uh, developing the jailbreak for an, a device that they made illegal to jailbreak, I would assume they would get into uh, tons of legal issues and stuff like that. Uh, so I found that kind of interesting, uh, how it would play a factor into the jailbreak. Uh, but again, there is still no ETA to the release of the jailbreak. Um, I'll keep posting updates on my YouTube channel to this. Um, and if you guys uh, are running on a device that does not have an A5 chip, so an A4 chip or uh, previous to that, uh, such as like the iPod Touch 4th generation, uh, you can jailbreak that right now as a tethered jailbreak uh, slash semi-untethered jailbreak. And, and I made a video on that tutorial, so if you guys want to check that out, um, I'll put a link or annotation to that as well. I um, mean, I'll get into If you guys don't know what a semi-untethered jailbreak is, I explain that in the video. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, go ahead and check out that video. And that jailbreak will work for 6.0 or 6.0.1. Uh, so it works for all the newer firmwares there. But that's basically it for this video, guys. Um, if you want any of these links, I'll put them in the description below. Um, oh, and here, this, uh, the photo right here is the proof of the, the iPad 4 here. Um, it's just the homepage of Cydia. And um, there's the proof of the iPad 4 uh, being jailbroken right there. Uh, so I'll put both of these links in the description. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate a like down below. Um, if you want to share the video, uh, I want to remind you to sh hit that share button down below as well. And if you guys do want my future videos, like I said, I will have um, future updates to the progress of the jailbreak. And I'll keep you guys updated with that. And uh, when the jailbreak is released, I'll have a tutorial on how to do it and everything like that. Uh, so if you guys want to keep updated with all that, subscribe at the top. And that will notify you when I release all those videos and the progress updates. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video.